A production for Team Sparta TV. An interview with Rupert Heverson Jones. Hello and welcome. I'll be here today interviewing Rupert, who has currently bought out his new film, Love Gun at Hungry for Love. Hi Rupert, nice to meet you. So, what made you go into film? What I wanted to achieve in my career from the offset was an expression of art and feeling. During my time with the Fortress Guides, I, to this day, have never managed to achieve true happiness, so I left to pursue this dream and show my sensitive side. Critics say your film is less about love and more about killing. What would you say to this? I don't believe they have any right to judge this artistic loving film in such a way. There is a small amount of blood, but any film worth its weight in gold has some sort of fighting within it. Take Half Past Dead, for example, with Steven Seagal. Such class in such an underfunded package. So, Rupert, tell us a little bit more about your movie. An overall view, so our viewers can see what it's like. I'd say it was a cross between a rom-com like that of Notting Hill and a hardcore bloodfest such as Rambo. I'd like to say it has, it has some style to it, but that is for the viewer to decide. Personally, I believe in this project. I see the film is being released on Valentine's Day, right? Are you taking anyone to the premiere? I'm not taking anyone to the premiere, no. I'd ask you if you were not going with anyone. <laughs> well, um, yeah, um... <laughs> That's very flattering and all. I was just about to ask you whether you had anyone special in your life, though I guess it's a no. <clears throat> Anyways, why did you choose this film as your big break into the movie industry? It seemed the best film suited to my experience. I'm very glad that I chose this. I had other offers, but at the time this one seemed to fit my needs the most. Okay, that sounds great. We are going to take a short break now while the viewers at home watch the full trailer of Rupert's new film. See you after the break. One man. Pow! Ha <laughs> ha! One love. One go. The mother of all search and destroy. Maybe I'm a lover. Welcome back. Rupert, what did you find as the biggest difference between making a film and taking part in Team Fortress? I found that the hardest change to be that Team Fortress was mostly improvised, whereas making a film consists of remembering a lot of lines and movements as well as adding subtle improvisation to create an all-around package. The step-up was huge. Did you do your own stints in the film, and um, how does it differ from what you were doing within the Team Fortress group? as it was obviously more dangerous than this. I do not fear danger. Well, not in the, oh my god, I'm just about to fall off a cliff danger. As I've been in much worse situation with the Team Fortress guys, the film was quite tame in comparison, and to answer your other question, I did all my own stunts, yes. There are rumours going round that you might be receiving an Oscar for your performance in this film. Any comments on this? I haven't heard anything about that, although that would be very nice, my first feature film. Well, that's all we have time for, so once again, thanks again for the interview, Rupert. It's been a pleasure having you on, and hope this is the beginning of a great film career for you.